We did it. We did it, America. Hi, Pack Theater. Uh, my name is Allie Ramirez. Oh, can you lower that just a little bit? It's so loud. I'm sorry. I have roommates. <clears throat> Some people may call him my husband, but I'm going to call him the person that pays half my bills. So uh, I'm Allie Ramirez, and this is my new normal. Um, I'm here to discuss whatever you want to discuss. I actually have a couple people lined up, which is very exciting. And so let's uh, let's just get the, the show started. My new normal is here to talk to you about what your new normal is. I'm letting in my first guest right now. Let's set up everything. Looks like Brandon yeah. Beck. Hey, Hello. hi, I don't see you. I Hello. hear you. Oh, hi, here I am. Yes, 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 yes. Hello. Hi, we're, uh, we're live. We're live on the PAC uh, Twitch channel right now. Oh, fantastic. You are fantastic. Awesome. I love it. You have the headphones, you have the, the uh, yeah. yeah. I've spent the last, couple hours trying to uh make a green screen video so it's just been this like mess of wires and <laughs> lights and stuff all around my desk there was a green screen literally right behind me um because i'm the sort of person who when i choose creative projects i choose ones that are going to be complicated and make Wait, my life difficult is behind you is the green screen like Oh, no, 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 no. Behind me is my kitchen, oh, but the green like, screen, wow, the green incredible. screen is uh, <laughs> down in there. Oh, got it. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Ah, that green makes screen me provided by the inimitable Jasper Sams. Ah, wonderful. Yes. Fantastic. 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 Uh, what may I ask? What are you trying to accomplish with the green screen? Where are you? So um, I am friends with, there's a really good uh, pop punk uh or power pop i guess group based out of queens called the hell yeah babies um they're really great they're on spotify they're on mm -hmm. uh everything they're really good um writing it down i like it and I'm, I'm buddies with a lot of those guys and they released okay. a single a couple months ago called great shot kid that is really good it's a song about like failure and feeling like you're a bad adult which i hella uh identify with uh, i think um, most adults that that's top on the list absolutely mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's, it's a, it's a like very like middle-aged millennial song. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I thought it would be funny to make a Jimmy Buffett, like steel drum version of that song. Um, so I did it and then it just got, it kept getting more and more elaborate. It went from just being like, oh, I'm just going to do an in a version of the song's instrumental then I decided, oh, I'm going to add, I'm going to do the lyrics. Then I decided, oh, I'm going to do it like it's a concert bootleg <laughs> of when he performed it live once. Hey, um, hey. And so it, it includes the end of the previous song and some stage banter. <laughs> I love how this like kernel of idea was like, well, if I'm, I'm doing this, I might as well add this, I might as well add yep. this. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I didn't tell them I was doing this. I just, uh, I just made it and then tweeted at them. Hey, uh, did y'all know that Jimmy Buffett covered Great Shot Kid once in 2012? Uh, I found a bootleg and immediately my phone blew up like, you are deranged. <laughs> You're like, um, no, I'm a comedian and I have nothing else to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very but I also, I, I find it very funny to like put a lot of effort into something very silly like that. Yes. Yes. It's uh, it's almost uh, sometimes it's funnier when you find out later on like how much effort was put into something. Oh, totally. Like, like you put that much effort into these dumb jokes. Oh yeah, my uh, favorite my favorite response to get is somebody going like, "Wait, you you made that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Like I needed a version of uh, I needed a steel drum version of Seasons of Love for something once that was just like, well." I'll just make that real quick. That won't, that won't where, be hard. Where are these things? Are, uh, they, are they, where can one find? Um, well, I've got a lot of them on my SoundCloud. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying Seasons of Love, for those who don't know, is that counting song from Rent? You know, yep. 25,600 yeah, minutes. minutes. How and long does it take to die from AIDS? Exactly. It's exactly About the word. Word for and word. And a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh death is funny um uh but there is something about that song where it's like i have no hope i'm so tired and then that song comes on and it not revitalizes but it's kind of like 
in daylight like it kind of pumps you up I oh would yeah you'll like hear a steel drum <laughs> there there's no way to get to the part where they're all clapping and like how about right, right. like even if you hate rent even if you're like fucking mike pence you're still gonna be like yes. oh okay all right yes. And in you're always gonna pick that she learned, yep. Yep. or in times gonna, that she yep. cried. You're always gonna hit that part, pick the part that you know you can't sing. Like yeah. I know I can't sing those high parts. I'm a, I'm definitely like the low alto, but I'm still gonna go for it. Oh yeah, I I would have been a good mark about ten years ago, but now I'm fully in the like Collins vocal range, <laughs> <laughs> and no one in their right mind is gonna cast me as Collins. <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's okay. And they shouldn't. They right, shouldn't. Fair, fair. For those who don't know, Collins is typically played by a African American actor. It was I believe it was Tay Diggs, I believe. Was the it was the original. I think. I think so. I think so. I think so. I let's go with that. Yeah, we'll go with Tay Diggs. And if Tay if Tay Tay Diggs, if you're watching, just 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 at me. Just at Ali R. Ramirez on uh, Instagram. Just let me know if I'm wrong. Just yeah. Say, you know Tay. Yeah, hey, hit, hey. hit up my agent. It's that woman yeah. that you guys sing to, like halfway yeah, through yeah. Act One. Hit her up. I, I call him Tay Tay, so it's cool. He knows. Sure, yeah. Tay Tay. <laughs> um, okay, so so we're 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 green screening. We're we're making things. Is this is this your new normal? Is this what it, is? It kind of not that you weren't doing this before. I'm just assuming. Yeah, I I have always like made stuff like that, and a, a lot of what I wind up doing is for. The Happy Sappy Grown Up Hour, yes. which is uh, Nikki Urban's, was formerly the Nikki Urban Show, and now yes. it's the Happy Sappy Grown Up Hour. And, and it's now the, it's Wednesdays? Uh, third Wednesdays, third, yeah. Third, third Wednesdays, Wednesdays okay. of the month. Uh, our show this month is the 21st, uh, 21st at 8 p.m. on this very channel. Oh, the Pat Theater Twitch. Mm -hmm. so, watching everybody. This is where you come. Yeah. And then the next, actually the next day, uh, my podcast uh, is on here at also eight o'clock. I think which you'd be is, into it. Which is your podcast? It's called, I think you'd be into it. I co-host oh, yes. it with my wife. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, you guys just did a, uh, you guys just did it for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. A, couple, a week yes. or two ago with uh, yeah. the aforementioned uh, Jasper Sams. Yes. And uh, Alex, I can't remember his last name right now. I, I know who you're talking about. I'm sorry, Alex. Uh, I will. Oh, Lewis, Lewis, Alex Lewis. Yes. What, uh, what are some of the topics on your podcast? Well, we just finished up a two month run of episodes focusing on animation. Okay. So we just, uh, we just put out an episode about Daria, um, along with a bonus episode about Sifil and Ollie. Um, lately we've covered Clone High. We've covered Rolf Bakshi movies. We've covered, uh, now, are you your your guests are people who like these movies? Yes. Okay. okay. The the podcast came about because uh, I am obsessed, is putting it mildly, with the, <laughs> the band Fish. Um, okay. Okay. Fish with a PH. I've seen them, depending on how you count it, like sixty four times. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay. Yeah. It depends on if you count some festivals as one show or you, or three. Um, uh. Like, it's like, it's is pedantry. It, is, it, is it different days? It's different days, but like it some, totally but sometimes it'll be count. one three day festival. So like that's where it, that's where you get a little in the weeds. Yay. Like if they play two nights at Bonnaroo, does that count as one show or two? Um, exactly. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the yeah. hell <laughs> I live in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but the idea is that we assume most people have something like that. Have something yeah. that they just love and can talk about until their friends and loved ones and lovers don't want to hear about it anymore so we wanted to give people an outlet for that and we actually finally just recorded an episode about fish which is going to drop <laughs> in like a couple weeks from now oh it drops the day before the election oh fun fun we'll, we'll need all the happiness we can get mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, I, I have to ask you, how many episodes have you recorded before you recorded the Fish album? The Fish. Um, we re we've recorded, um, I think episode sixty-two just dropped. Oh my gosh! Well, first off, congratulations on oh, thank you. sixty-two episodes. Podcast is hard. Well, we we took almost two years off. It doesn't matter. 
Fair. It doesn't matter. I have a podcast and it's so hard. Uh, I, I love recording it. It's the editing and the marketing and the weekly. That's yep. that's the hard part. But first off, congratulations on 62 episodes, regardless of breaks, because that's commendable. Two, also super congratulations for not making your topic the first episode. Like fair. That's that's you held off. You yeah. <laughs> I had been thinking about it. I did an episode about the Grateful Dead uh okay. kind of early on. Uh, that was like a 20 minute like mini sode because uh my wife who's also my co-host was sick but we needed to put out an episode <laughs> um but like yes yeah, I, Come on, lady. yeah um but I, I want i wanted to do it eventually but i i wanted to like have been doing the show long enough that it felt like yeah you know it didn't feel like okay here's this indulgent thing i i'm doing you know so like i think it i think it drops in a couple weeks and then our final episode of the year, which we've learned will be our 69th episode, is about Cats 2019. Oh, that is. Which is going to be a yearly end of the year uh, episode where we're going to have different people to come on and talk about Cats 2019. Yes, <laughs> we've already got next year's double guest episode booked. Now, I, I will admit, I have yet to see Cats. Oh, it's good. Yet, and, and that's what I've heard. I've heard it's it's an experience. Oh, it's yeah. Fun. I just, I, I haven't, I feel like I missed that window and then it hit, became March and I was like, I don't have, to, I don't know why I'm talking like I'm a cat when I'm doing it. Um, well, my cat was just actually up on my desk trying to like uh, knock all my shit over. Oh, so. yeah. They're so boss <laughs> I have a cat too. She's the bossiest. She's not. Here. Oh, yeah. My, my cat is like this absolute little gremlin. We she had to get stomach surgery uh, back in January because she oh. ate eleven cents. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. she's a dumbass. Did she eat a dime and a penny? Or yep, penny <laughs> yep, yep, penny and a dime. Uh, when we brought her back to the vet for her follow up, and every time since then, <laughs> every time the per the person comes to like check us in and looks at her chart, they they will say some variation on like, oh. It what was it? Was it a penny and a nickel? How two two uh, two nickels and a pen? How? And so she like has this reputation as right. like the cat that did something so dumb. Like the cat that did a thing. Oh, there she is. The cat that did a thing oh. like a dog would do. Right. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, she looks just like my cat. What, oh, what yeah? kind of cat is that? I don't know. I don't um, either. We, as far as we know, she's a dumpster cat because okay. one of my wife's coworkers found her by a dumpster when she was <laughs> this big. Oh, like six weeks old, found her yeah. by a dumpster, and they were like, um, "I don't know what we can do with this cat. Like, we have a, a cat already, and we can't okay. keep like a, a like a like infant kitten." Right. Right. And so my wife was, my wife messaged me while I was at work and was like, hey, this is happening. Can we at least go, don't knock the light over, please. Thank you. <laughs> um, I was like, can we go uh, meet this cat? And by that point, she had already decided we're taking the cat. Of course. Um, of course. But it was, it was to give me the illusion of having any say in the matter. Um, and also because like this was mid-January, her old cat had died oh. on Christmas day. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, and yeah. so it was just this like, oh, well, the world is giving us a trash cat now. Uh, so like, yeah, we don't exactly know what her, what kind of cat she is other than yeah. a trash cat. Yeah, I have the exact, like the same coloring. And we recently took the cat to like a pet hotel and they were oh, like, yeah. what kind of cat is it? And I was like, I don't know, a gray, mm -hmm. gray white one. <laughs> That's fair. She, she's, a, she's a year and she won't bite you. Just, yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. It worked out fine. Yeah, she'll she'll bite you, but it'll it'll be like a just like a yeah. love chomp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh. oh well, I have to say, first off, uh, excited to see more of the uh, sappy happy hour, yeah. uh, third Wednesdays of the month. Mm -hmm. uh, your podcast, which I'm assuming is also available. Yes, wherever. it's it's available wherever podcasts are sold. Yes. Um, on Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher. Um, yeah. And I personally use Overcast, which is the the podcast app you should be using if you oh. like podcasts. I didn't know that. I it's just, it's know. just, it's it's just well designed. Uh, it's it's well designed. It has a lot of good little features under the hood that like it's 
that like you would you would imagine other things would have that don't. And also yeah. just like the Apple Podcast app is trash. It is hot trash and has been hot trash it's for what a decade hot. now. I use I use Stitcher. And then usually when I'm looking for a new podcast, it usually always sends me to Spotify. So most, that's fair. Yeah. But even with Stitcher, like I don't, I don't really go off the recommendations. I'm usually, I'm usually listening to somebody else's podcast or sure. I'm listening to somebody's pot. Like I, you were a guest on somebody else's podcast. I liked you. And now I'm listening to your podcast. Like sure. That's, yeah. That's I've... usually how I find my podcast. Like, that's the podcast circle of life. Yeah, like it's I very rarely I'm like you should listen. I'm like, no, 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 no. Like you no. If I haven't It'll, heard I, yeah. All roads lead to Paul F. Tompkins at the end. <laughs> yes. Day. Yes. That 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 is true. That is very that is very, very true. Um, what was there anything else you wanted to share with me today? I, um, I usually don't have another guest, but I actually have another guest in the waiting room. Oh wow. Who, who's, very, uh, who's up? Rare Who, and exciting, but very rare for me. Who's up next? Uh, Sometimes I'm here by myself and then I'm talking Ooh. straight 30 minutes, which is cool. I like to do it. Yeah, I've done that before. It's, like it's fun, people. but it makes you feel a little crazy after about 20. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can only talk to myself for about 25 minutes and then I'm like, ah. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, was there anything else you want to share or promote or talk uh, about? Or I don't want to, I don't want to cut you off if I, if you missed your. Uh, no, I, I think that was kind of everything. Um, if you want to see the Jimmy Buffett video that I'm finishing, um, yes. that'll be airing tomorrow night on uh twitch.tv slash the hell yeah babies at uh five o'clock western coast time eight o'clock uh east coast okay. um happy okay. sappy is yeah third wednesday of the month yeah this month um i our theme is regret and Ooh. the uh we, we've we've done a really cool thing where like the live show was definitely like a like a talk show that had yeah. some like kids mm -hmm. show puppet show elements but now that we're doing them live it's become a fully like film or we're doing them filmed it's become a fully like produced sketch show like for essentially it's a, it's a kids it is a kids show for adults yeah. now. when i uh nikki i come on and said that that's the direction of it now because it's more of a digital format and she said yeah. she she never thought about it that way yeah now, it rules it's great really, yeah yeah, it's it's really it's really good. It's become something really fun and really just different from everything else that is running on on the the pack Twitch. Um, our theme this month is regret, and I have written a Fleetwood Mac style song called <laughs> "We Never Should Have Banged," uh, which is going to feature pack heavyweights, uh, pack heavyweight Kaylee Quick on yes. on yes. some uh, some Stevie Nicks vocals. Uh, God. so that's uh we got that that coming up and uh yeah i think you'd be into it drops every monday on wherever you get your podcasts beautiful thank you so yes. much for coming on and thank uh, you for, for, for you to know this will be on the on the youtube starting oh, yeah. tomorrow so we can replay this and and again thank you pack community is always new shows <laughs> and new ways <laughs> thanks so much brandon I, I hope to i hope to see you soon yeah yeah, hopefully, hopefully the world will be uh, back online by like 2022. So I mean, it's a good year, 2022. I, yeah. I feel like that's that's going to be everyone's winning lotto ticket. Numbers. Hopefully, halfway through a Biden presidency. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, thank you again so much <laughs> no for coming. This has been fantastic. It was so nice to meet you. And yeah, you uh, too. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye so much. forever. <laughs> oh, 5,900 minutes. All right, folks. I have another guest. This is amazing, everybody. Uh, <laughs> no, is it, it's Michael, right? Just It's actually Michelle, but Michelle. I, I'm okay with Michael. I'm no. okay with Michael. No, Michelle. Michelle. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. It's 2020. If we don't at least say our names correctly, then what are we doing? What are we doing? People well, say my you. name correctly is a new normal for me, honestly. Oh. <laughs> I'm so used I, to being like, you can say Michael, you can say Michael. And then I think at some point people were like, no, 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 I want to say your real name. <laughs> I was like, Michelle. It's okay. Michelle. It's okay. It's okay. Ah, thank you. So, well, thank you so much for waiting. Um, so, uh, what's, uh, what's going on? It's Thursday. It's October 8th. It's October 8th. It's Wednesday. Uh, I'm, I, I <laughs> as I, I literally finished 
as we were doing this, I finished cleaning up audio because I also have a podcast. So I literally spent all day cleaning up audio. Yeah, today is podcast day on my new it, normal. Yes, it is. It is podcast day. Tell me about your podcast. Yes, tell me. Uh, I, I can't believe it's actually happening. I'm getting to tell someone about my podcast. Is this, is this a new and podcast? Uh, it started in June. Okay. June-ish. Okay. So basically me and a couple of friends. So I'm a screenwriting grad from USC. That's why I'm here in the United States. And uh, I'm originally from Brazil. And I me and a couple of friends, we always wanted to do something. And then this whole quarantine thing started. And, I, and we were like, we should start a podcast. They're like, what should we do a podcast about? Like just everyone has a podcast. And also it hurts because two of them are white dudes. So that's like, <laughs> like when you're a white man, yeah, when white you're a white people. man, you get a podcast, literally like the, that's like, you're the first thing you get when you're born. Um, Talk about so, sports. Talk about sports. <laughs> so I basically, we, we decided to do a recap podcast, which is very original, but it's about a, a Japanese animated show called Full Metal Alchemist. And yes. so you know about it? I, I, I know of it because right. I have a, a cool cousin that's uh, 10 years younger than me. So he uh-huh. updates me on like the next generation stuff. Yeah. So like that's on a list that he's like, you need to watch it. I'm like, I don't have time. I don't, I don't have time it's to a really it. great show. It's a really I, great show. I, I, I know. I know. I know. I get it. That is the, the plague of modern society. It's like, you should watch this show. Yeah, I, <laughs> I should. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I got the last season of The Good Place. I got the last season of Shit's Creek. And I got to rewatch Glow because that just, they yeah. just cut that off. So I have to, re, I have to, I have to rewatch that. So we should, we should, it in, but actually it in. it's funny you talk about, <laughs> this is the other podcast I'm doing. I'm doing too. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. So, okay. So yeah. the, first po- the first, the first podcast, for, yeah. for the record, I actually like watching things and then listening to a podcast about it. Well, then you probably are going to like this one. Yes. Cause I, I think uh, it's funny. Cause it feels like you're like talking to friends. Like, yeah. <laughs> It, it, that's exactly why we, we made it. So basically it's an animated show, but it's one of those animated shows where it's like, you can find a lot in it and it's really entertaining. And we wanted to basically put all the stuff we learned about writing at, co- at uh, grad school out there. So basically wow. the show is called Full Metal Analysts. And the idea <laughs> is that we're watching the show and we're analyzing it yes. from a perspective of, of, of writers. So there's a lot of talk of like character and story and structure, but that's not all. We also have one of our hosts has never seen the show before. And so it's right. part of the yeah. fun that like, if you're watching it for the first time, like you might, you right. you would be, he actually, we, we don't have any spoilers and we actually <laughs> have someone voicing the thoughts that someone would have if they're watching it for the first time. Like right. we made a segment out of it of like him trying to guess what's going to happen in the next episode. <laughs> and it's fun and it's fun. No, I mean, you laugh, but it's fun yeah, because no, that's- he, he's so smart. How he edits like he gets things right, but he doesn't know he got things right. <laughs> so he says something, and then me yeah. and the other host, we have seen the show. We go like he just guessed like the ending of the show, <laughs> <laughs> and we pretend like he didn't say anything right. So it's really funny, especially if you've seen the show before. But if you okay. haven't, it has a lot. Of how, how okay? So I know very little about the show. How like how many is it by seasons? Is it's it by, by episode. It's by episode. It's an many, episode by episode. How many episodes are there? Out? We have sixteen episodes out now, and we made we we work really hard. Um, we love podcasts. We love when podcasts go long, but we work really hard to have this podcast be twenty five minutes or less. Oh wow! So that's, yeah, that's tough. No, 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 no. It is tough because we record for an hour. So yeah. that's very tough. I, we cut yes. a lot. It's. But, yeah, so, I try to get my podcast because I, I also have, I also have a podcast. Yeah. Um, but I try to go like 45 minutes. It's like my like I try, but that's a it's it's so hard to like cut out and keep you know the 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 funny in it, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's really hard. But we made we made but it's like that's the point, right? You try to make it short so that way people are less afraid of it, that people we 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 imagine it as something that like we want it to be something you can do. And you can knock out in 30 minutes. It shouldn't take you longer to listen to the podcast than it should right. take you to watch the episode. Right. And so, yeah. Oh, I see. I see. I see what you're doing there. Yeah. yeah. So the show is 22 minutes. So the podcast is 25. Like we're releasing our first episode that goes to 28 minutes at the end of the month. And that's because we got a, an, an, an anime YouTuber to come on the podcast and oh, talk that's about cool. it. 
yeah, it's great. It's a lot of fun because we get to find people who to talk. We're basically we're slowly growing. We're not popular. We have like 40 followers. Uh, it just keeps going. Yeah, just keep going. Just keep going. We've gotten uh, so we just recorded with a voice actor, the voice actor who does the he's a new voice of Ferb and Phineas and Ferb. So he, yes. yeah, I know that. I know you that. know Phineas and Ferb. So he's he's on coming on the show. That episode is going to come out next month. And so we're basically working our way through like what anime YouTubers can we get? What people can we get to right. go on the show? And just talk about this fun show for like tw- uh, an hour. And how many how many seasons are there of this show? It's complicated because it's not seasons in the way we understand it. So we actually talked about it last week. Okay, that guest I told you about. Uh, <laughs> the way they divide it in Japan is they divide it in cores. So cores okay. are like trimesters. Okay, and I hope I got this right. So there's four cores in a year, and the way animation works in Japan is. They order a core, like okay. 14, 13 episodes. And then because there's so many people ordering stuff, sometimes the second season might come two years later. Or it might take a while for it to come out because it's basically a bunch of studios. It's like, imagine if it's a bunch of production companies and like there's the 10 people who want to make shows and they have to go to each of these production companies. And some of them are book, booked until like 2023. Right. Yeah. So this is a specific show where... This show is specifically Full Metal Alchemist. They booked the whole thing. So it's 64 episodes. And it's not divided in seasons, but Netflix puts it in seasons for some reason. And there is kind of a divide. Yeah. So what you're saying is they choose quality. Yeah. Over how yeah, fast yeah. they pump it out. Yeah. Got it's it. kind of like that. But they're very underpaid. So <laughs> it sucks. Aww. It sucks. There's a lot of that. I mean, like, uh, who... who uh, I wish I remembered his name. The guy who did Parasite. Um, um, it's one of those names that when I hear it, I'll know it. Bon but... Joo Bon Joo I I feel so bad misspelling. I lied. That now name. I don't know. Yeah. It. I, lied. I lied. I'm, I'm yeah. not. I'm not known for knowledge tonight. I'm not known for knowledge in general. Just so <laughs> everyone knows. Uh, bon John Hu. I remembered. Bon Joo yeah. is his name. Yes. So he said, like, yeah, we all live in the same country, and it's called capitalism, and it's like. <laughs> That's why everyone has all those problems. But anyway, yeah. we're here, here to talk about that. We're here to talk about podcasts, apparently. Yeah, podcasts, yeah. Okay, so that's one of your podcasts. You have the first episode dropping out at the end of the month. No, 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 no. It's oh. all out already. It's out. It's, it's already it's out. out. It's been out more. since June. And it's on Netflix. I can watch this on Netflix. You can watch this on Netflix. You can, li- yeah. you can listen to it on like um, Spotify, uh, Apple Podcasts everywhere. Okay. But the show in itself is on Netflix, which Got is great. It. So that's one podcast. Yes, so that's one. Second podcast? Yes, this is one I also just started. And it's funny we talked about like catching up on television because this one is called That One Episode. And the idea with it is every week a guest comes in and we talk about a singular episode of television. So for example, we just I just recorded an episode with a friend of mine and we talked about one episode of Golden Girls. And I recorded a, uh, yesterday with another friend and we could talk about one episode of a cartoon by the guy who did Samurai Jack. Okay. And I also, and the first one I recorded way back on Tuesday with Nick Urban uh, <laughs> was about one episode of Buffy. The Okay, mo- yeah. 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 Vampire Star, okay. So the, basic, yeah. No, go ahead. Go ahead. You, you explain and I have questions. I, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. I feel bad for talking so much. No, talk. The idea with that one is the same. It's like, we just want you to watch this one episode. It's it's the <laughs> antithesis to binging a season. It's a show exclusively about the one episode. And whenever and I'm talking to a lot of people to be guests, and I'm always like, I'm talking to Fernando Funes to be a guest, uh, yes, yes. Eliza Phil- Phillips to be a guest, and Sam Weller to be a guest. And I'm like, you can only talk about one episode. So, <laughs> so it ha- it it's it can't be like, oh, this is the season finale, and it all comes together. Like it just has to work with it as an episode, and that's a lot of fun. Wow. Because, okay. yeah, that's how people write, do television. You know, they do right. one episode. And so right. there's a lot of fun to get out of the concept. Okay. And just to talk about that one episode, which is why the name of the show is that one episode. That's very funny and very true. Because you're right. You, there's pitch ideas. And then one person has to go write that one yeah. episode yeah. with, you know, with knowing the character tropes. And then, you know, and yet there may be a, 
there may be a plot line that goes throughout, but usually, you know, that individual episode. Yeah. Wow. So, but that's the idea. It's basically just, let's talk about one episode of television and that's about it. And there's, there's a few segments where like, I ask people if this is the best episode ever of the show they're talking about, mm. because the idea is that if they say yes, then whoever talks about the show next time has to defend their episode against the basically like a, <laughs> Like we got to find the best episode ever of a show and we got to keep fighting. The guests have to keep argue, arguing against themselves, but that's very funny. That's another show that I'm also going to try to make like less than 30 minutes. Uh, because again, even though we talked about episodes that aren't 20, 30 minutes, right? I just like that format, the short format. Yeah. It's, it's Go ahead. No, no, no you I, go ahead. You go ahead. You go ahead. No, 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 no. Uh, no, I was going to say it's sometimes when I look at podcasts and I see something over an hour, it's like overwhelming. It's like, oh, yeah. I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to finish this all the way through right now. So it's like, it's this, uh, uh, I'm not, I, and sometimes with certain podcasts, if I start it and end it at like 30 minutes and then come back to it, I'm like, what are they talking about? Yeah, Why are we yeah, talking yeah. about the Lion King? I don't, I'm just gonna skip it. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't remember what's happening. It was like a day ago, I'm moving on. But it's nice when there are shorter episodes sometimes cause it's like, okay, cool. I can, I can knock this out when I clean the kitchen or I can like, it's, it's, I'm like, cool. I can, I can get through this and get the full story. Yeah. It's a, yeah. uh, uh, one of my favorite podcasts ever called Blank Check uh, with Griffin and David. I love it. And cool, they put out, three two three hour episodes this month uh because they talk about movies and they 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 dissect uh filmmakers filmography okay. so they put out two episodes each of them were like three hours each talking about one movie each episode and i love those episodes i love it but yeah. i feel like if you're a new podcast or even right now in general there's so many podcasts that for you to be like each episode is three hours it has to be a very specific thing like I can yeah. see a wrestling podcast being three hours long, but a general film podcast is like, you got to be specific. You got to get from the niche. Yeah, yeah right. You, there's a very specific audience that you're going for that's going to listen to this. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that audience can be into three hour episodes or that audience can be not. That's one of them. That's the magic of podcasting. Yes. I, 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 my bachelor's wasn't i just no, look at the time and if you want me to stop i'll stop oh you're good you're uh, good I, I don't i don't uh i'm looking i feel like it's just oh we, we have viewers this is insane um i think i think we're okay if you got, got a few more minutes i, I mean it's it's 10 30 sure. i've had two guests i've had a lot this has been a very informative this has been yeah. like light years informative more than my, my previous episode so i i just shut off now and i would be like i would have been <laughs> I'm no, no, don't do it. I, I actually. I'm sleeping I, well tonight. As someone who, as the person who uploads your show every <laughs> Thursday, I actually enjoy watching your show a lot. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, speaking of uploading the shows, you, for the record, you upload all of the Pack Theater shows. Uh, depending on whether or not the showrunner wants me to, yeah. Oh, got it. I mean, obviously, we're reaching out to you. Yeah. And yeah. you're not editing, like you're not doing any, like you're just popping it up. I right? edited I edited one of them. I think it was Dark Matters because I had to oh. combine. No, no, because they accidentally split the show in two, so I just combined the files. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Yeah. It was, was like, it, dark, it's not that dark bad. Matters. What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> no, it, it was just show. it was literally it was literally putting them on the same thing and pressing <laughs> render and that's it. Ah, uh, very cool. Yeah. I, what I just want I mean, if we're going to wrap it up, I just want to talk about the no, fact let's talk that about um, I'm good. I'm I, I've been getting really into Blu-rays because uh, fun story in February, I was like, I'll get myself a Blu-ray player. It's about time I got a TV. You know, I've, I've never had my own TV in my life. Okay. So I got a Blu-ray player and then I found out that the Alamo draft house here in LA, they had this, um, you could rent Blu-rays from there. And I was like, oh, man, I yeah, I'm going to rent so many Blu-rays. And literally the week after the Blu-ray got here, yeah. COVID hit. <laughs> So I started buying a few Blu-rays to watch some stuff. And right now I'm waiting for uh, the rest of this to arrive. Ooh. I'm, I got the complete series of the X-Files, well which played. is funny because have you seen the X-Files? I, I definitely watched them like growing up, but I haven't sat as an adult and like really drilled into it. 
I'm a fan, and let me just say the quality of the of that show kind of goes down considerably. <laughs> but I, I I felt bad. I was like, should I just get like the seasons I like? And then I felt like, no, I really should get the ones I don't like because I want to have it all. So so for example, uh, so I'll get far, like I'm, a true film student. I don't want the other seasons. Yeah. So bad. Well, well, what gotta... if, what, yeah. What if I actually end up liking one of the, the bad episodes? <laughs> so, so many right, people worked on it. I don't want to. <laughs> precisely. Like that is why I get the Blu-rays. Yeah. Right now I'm, I'm hounding this uh, Twin Peaks complete series on eBay. Uh-huh. I'm like, I'm waiting for the price to drop for, it, for me to get there. But right now I'm waiting for the rest of the X Files to get here. I only have the tenth season and the eleventh season, which you know it's the revival oh. series. Um, yeah, it, yeah, so it's yeah, it's I, good. I I, I rem- again, like you said, I remember watching X X Men X Files growing up, but like I've never like as a full grown adult like sat and watched because I feel like there's two different types of TV for me. One is it can just be on the background, and I'm yeah. not really paying attention to it but I'm like oh that's cool and then there's the other one where I'm like I, I'm sitting and I'm giving 100% attention to the story but I usually can't do that until after like 9 30 like I so it's I have, I have such limited time because at some point I'm like I need to go to bed yeah, <laughs> probably yeah. More important for, it's midnight it's probably a better idea for me to go to bed than watch two more episodes of something Sometimes. I've I've been sleeping really late lately, so I know exactly how you feel. Yeah, yeah, sleep, and I'm prone to anxiety and like getting lost. Not uh, not getting lost, just like um, spiraling. I start thinking about things, and I'm like, well, what if this happens? And then what if this happens? And then what happens? And then I'm up at three a.m. for no for no reason. Like the things I'm thinking of are impossible. They're not going to happen. Um, so I've been really trying to like go to bed at midnight. You don't need to see this. You've seen the office. You've seen you this episode before. You don't need to look at Twitter. Right. You don't need to look at Twitter. You don't need to look at Facebook. You don't need to watch this episode of the office again. Just, just go to sleep. Just lay down, close your eyes. Uh, I feel so bad because I reinstalled Twitter on my phone and I had every, every month I'm like, I should delete this. You know, I should get rid of it. Twitter, <clears throat> Twitter. I don't mind. I might Twitter. Twitter, Twitter. I'm. It's. It's. I can get rid of Twitter, or, or not rid of. It's. It's easy for me to close Twitter. It's TikTok, because TikTok. I'll start oh. watching videos, and then I'm like, damn, these people are funny. Like they're so clever. These. This twelve year old's the funniest kid I've ever seen. And then it's like an hour later, and I'm like, I did nothing with my life. I just like these kids stuff. It's funny. Yeah. 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 Th- these. Sir, it's. It's so, it's made for you to, to, to just mm-hmm. keep going. And it's so unhealthy. And like the only reason I'm on Twitter is because Twitter for podcasts is like the big way for you to communicate. So I can't delete Twitter and <laughs> never go on it again. But may, and also Facebook. Facebook is like, I don't use it as social media. I just use, use it for groups. That's yeah. literally why I use it for. Yeah. I just, <laughs> I wish I could delete Facebook. I really do uh because i hate i hate it i hate looking on twitter but every time i go to bed my my hand instinctively reaches for the phone mm-hmm. and opens up twitter mm-hmm. i'm and gonna delete the app tonight <laughs> yes you are and yes, if you I try am. to reinstate it that's okay too <laughs> but if you want to delete it you delete it yeah i have I- to I just gotta get rid of it man it's such a bad app i i know it's i uh, yeah there's it, it it's so it's hard to balance, right? It, it's just, it, not that so not that all social media is bad. It's just hard to balance, like anything else, right? Like I like cookies, but I don't buy them in my house because I will eat them all. <laughs> I can't it's, not have my phone in my house though, so it's right there. So, but yeah, it, it's just the balance. It's exactly that. It's not that social media is bad. Is that they make it so easy for you to just get lost in it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Because they want you to get lost in it. Absolutely. <laughs> they want you to watch the ads. Yes. The secret now, is don't watch now, the ads. And now I own ridiculous things sometimes. What's the weirdest ad you ever gotten on Facebook? The weirdest ad? Yeah. You know what? They're really trying to sell me this glitter cat litter right now. It's like sparkly and it like turns blue when your cat pisses in it. They're, uh, they've been pushing Wait. it hard. Oh, yeah. Wait, you should yeah. start off with the cat pissing part. 
Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like white and it's glittery, but then when the cat pees, it turns like a pretty blue. And I'm like, I don't need that cat litter. I don't. I my cat's fine, but they're really trying to sell it to me. Like, lady, you want this? You want this pretty blue pissy cat? I don't know. They're trying to sell me a lot. Do you know Wish? Yeah. Oh, Wish is Wish is hoot. so tempting. A hoot. I bought, I, there was a time a couple months back where I was really getting into those like wooden models on Wish. Yes, Biggest sir. mistake of my life. <laughs> Biggest mistake of my life. Because they come basically broken and it's impossible to build oh, them. Oh, yeah. The best yeah. they've built, in, so built, built, the only one I managed to build was like this little Ferris wheel oh. that literally I finished building it and I just saw the crack going up in the middle. And I was like, okay, I should stop buying this stuff. <laughs> yeah, w- Wish is, I don't think I've ever seen a good outcome with Wish. I have, I bought a, when this whole thing started, I bought a bunch of masks from Wish. Literally took good? five months. I have not oh, opened no. it because I'm scared of what will happen if I put them on. No. Like, hold on. Do I still have, oh, here they are. Look, I have not touched them. <laughs> I, I got them five months later. Like I ordered them in March. They got here in like July. And I was like, yeah. I don't know if I want to open these. Yeah. They might not work. I, you just open them, they just fall apart. They just disintegrate. I'm, yeah, there's a date here that's like the 28th of March. <laughs> and I don't know what that means. So I'm just, I don't know. I haven't thrown it out to you. I just have them nearby. You know, you never know when hey. you're going to need. Yeah, you never know. Hey. I, I, yeah, I wish. Yeah. I will tell you this though, about buying things online. If you want to buy something online, like for example, I did these, um, like, uh, they're, they're called mixed tiles. you like, you, uh, upload a photo and they print it and you put it on the wall, right? Uh-huh. You sign up cause they ha- <clears throat> they make you sign up cause they're like 10% off if you sign up. So you give them your email, right? You start to order and then you close that window. Don't order it. And then you do it again, and then you close that window. And I promise you, in the next week, they're like, "Hey, fifty percent off! Hey, sixty oh. percent off!" Because they know that you want to buy it. So if you just wait a little bit, they'll give you a little bit higher of a discount. I just bought clothes on Macy's. I should have done that. Take them back. Take them back. Well, I don't know if Macy will do that. Maybe Macy's will. Yeah. But like, just like put it in the like put it in the, the checkout, and then like, oh, I don't want this, and then close out. I had I had a moment like that today. Um, I bought these art prints for a couple of friends, and then I looked at the shipping. Well, it, it was kind of like that. I looked at the shipping dates, and I looked at the shipping dates for so long that a pop up appeared. Like, <laughs> hey, if you want, here's the ten percent off. <laughs> yeah, because they just want you to. I mean, I get it. They want they want you to buy, but yeah. Get at, what, at one point, you're like, where is like? It, there's so many discounts. What's going on? Like, what's the deal? What is this Faustian deal that I'm signing right now? Who, who, right. who am I? Who am I electrocuting by taking on that fifty percent? Like the Stanford prison experiment. Oh man, it's now we're really going down a rabbit hole. Yeah, now we're, yeah. now we're starting to spiral. Now we're spiraling together. We're spiraling together. Uh, well, thank you so much for for coming on and. Uh, explaining two of your podcasts remind me the names again so people yes. can find them so the first one is a full metal alchemist recap podcast it's called full metal analysts god's about, good name. I, I know i was so happy when we got it okay. <laughs> it's available online just search for full metal analysts you'll get it put it on google we yep. work really hard to make sure that you found it on google <laughs> Yes, that's a thing. And then your second podcast. The second is- podcast has not begun yet. It probably will begin next week. It's called That One Episode. So if yeah. you want to stay tuned on that one, uh, follow it on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash that one app. The one is in the number. So it's that one app. Nice. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so thank much you for having for- me. Yeah, thank you so much for uploading all these shows to the YouTube for Pat. Because who knew that... The YouTube pack was now going to be a, an, a, an array of comedy and information and thriving now. We're thriving. Can, can I be honest? I do it Please. because I don't like the Twitch video. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it so much. It's Playback, so bad. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. so bad. They're like, oh, um, do you want to? <laughs> it's so bad. I hate it so much. I do, I just I was like, can I just please just let me put this on YouTube where it's easier to watch. Yeah, it is. I mean, Twitch, you're doing great. You're doing a great job. You provided a fantastic format for gamers and the comedians are coming in. 
you can tweak a little. Just I'm just saying we can all grow, we can yeah. all mature, yeah. we can all adjust. Please make it easier to watch the videos. <laughs> I should yeah. not have to load the entire video when I want to watch like a, a random second. Yes, playbacks are a little tough on Twitch, yeah. but they're working on that. I believe they're in working. Twitch because I know you're listening. I know you're listening. <laughs> Maybe they're not. They better be. they better oh, be. my 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 roommate is. I can smell making a burrito. What you making? I don't know. Oh, but it sounds good. It sounds like I'm gonna eat some leftovers right now. Get some, get some, have some burritos. Have some tacos today. Uh, thank you again so much. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been my new normal. I'm Ali Ramirez. We have a show every Thursday at 10 p.m. where you can be the guest, and we just talk about the pack theater and the community and what's going on and. We meet a cat sometimes. This is about podcasts. This is awesome. I have so yep. many podcasts to listen to now. <laughs> and I have to now watch Full Metal Alchemist. Yes. Oh, <sighs> I mean, you're going to... Do you like blood? Genuine yes. question. Okay, you're going to oh, love I'm it. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm a mom, so uh, there's murder. I'm all about it. Let's solve You're going to love it then. I, uh, yeah. You're going to yeah, love I it. Yeah, I got to do it. It's <laughs> not the first... You're not the first person to suggest it, so it's... Hey, you only have to watch uh, 16 episodes to catch up with the podcast and then you can watch once a week. I, th yes, that's what I need to do. That's the idea. Yep, yep, okay. I can do 16. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get that tonight. <laughs> Maybe. It's on Netflix. <laughs> Thank you so much again, ladies and gentlemen. Have a fantastic night and uh, be safe. Find the funny and oof. yeah, have a good one. Thank you. Boop, 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 boop. Once I learn how.